All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to our New Year's special. We are live. It's been a long day, and we're ready to eat some hot wings and drink some uh, iced tea. Right? Yeah. This is my man, Steven. How you doing, brother? I'm doing great, man. What's going on? Thanks for taking the time out. I know you're busy. I know you guys are busy doing your training camps and stuff, so mm-hmm. appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming out. Ready to chow down on these wings. Hell yeah. Been looking so, forward to it. All right. So did you, uh, you guys train today, you said, right? Yeah, we just finished. Just finished? Okay. Yeah. What? Uh, can we ask what you guys were doing on today? Yeah. Um, we did a little studying on his opponent, yeah. okay. so we're just trying to capitalize on his tendencies, weaknesses, and see where okay. we could try and exploit him. Okay. What... what uh, you guys have tape, or, or how does that work out? We have one tape. Okay, yeah, okay, one tape. okay, cool. So, when you guys are coaching, I mean, you're the striking coach, right? Correct. Are you the overall sort of deal as well? Or? Um, I mean, we have, we have a good team going on. Okay. So, I, there's me, his striking coach, and okay. then we have okay. Dave Camarillo, which is his jiu-jitsu coach. Okay, so when you guys break down an opponent, do the coaches kind of I mean, get together? I'll, I'll say or we all do it together. Okay. Um, more kind of like a, a, a coalition. So okay. me, Dave, and Kai, we'll, we'll break it down. But we okay. also have input from his teammates and this and that. Beautiful. So I love yeah. it, man. I'm I'm, I'm excited to, uh, to to pick your brain because this is Absolutely. obviously a topic that I love. Yeah. But uh, let's dive into the first wing before we start, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's get to uh, the first one is just the basic buffalo wing, man. Yeah. So how it works is we go from this way to that way. Mm-hmm. You can do the drumstick or the wing. Okay. You like. Which one's least messy? Because I'm, I'm a pretty messy eater. <laughs> That's okay. We actually have napkins and okay, stuff awesome. here. I just forgot to put Might them on the table. Extras. Yeah, because I'm missing my assistant today. So oh, no it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Um, they're both pretty pretty equal, I think. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, more meat on the drumstick, of course, okay. right? How about I'll go drumstick so, wing, drumstick wing. Whatever you want, man. Go for it. Yeah. Got it. All right. Yeah, go for it. Dig on in there, man. All right. Let's do it. Cheers. Wing cheers, cheers, brother. Little wing cheers, yeah. Mm. Way now. I obviously, yeah. I never understood how people could they, they could like suck the whole thing off. I got a buddy that uh, we went to these wing these wing nights in college. You know, in college you're broke, right? And you go, there was this place that used to make uh, 10 cent wing nights, right? Mm-hmm. And when you would go do that, as a college kid, you know, you go in and, and they're like, okay, they're going to sell lots of wings, but mm. they're going to sell lots of beer, right? But not if you're a broke college kid. You go and you get like 100 wings for like 10 bucks. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, hey, what can I get you to drink? And you'd be like, uh, can I have a Coke? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're like, okay, cool. And they're just like, and I'm like, is that refillable? Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I got no money. I'm a college kid, right? <laughs> Did they put crazy. these back? No, just, just, just uh, I usually have a little bucket here. No worries, That's, man. Uh, it's all good. I will right, we'll grab it in a sec here. Yeah, let me grab a cup. My about this is I'm just chuck them in here. How about that? Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. All right. So we have so, an official wing count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, get I, dropped, all the skin guys. I dropped the ball. I dropped the ball on that one a little bit. But uh, what's this? Can you introduce yourself for those maybe that are watching that and they're not sure, yeah, for sure about guys. you? What's up, guys? My name is Steven Chow. Um, big shout out to Kai Wu, who's fighting the main event on Way of the Dragon this time. I'm his striking coach. I'm out of Hercules, California. Nice. So, so when you're a striking coach, do you have to learn sort of do all the arts like the boxing and the Muay Thai and the, sort of the kickboxing or do you just kind of create your own system or how does that work no um, so I have a background in boxing kickboxing okay. and Muay Thai I've actually okay. done zero Taekwondo zero karate um, not even gonna front and say I have done those okay but I've okay. always been a big fan of the martial arts sure and I've okay. always was interested in seeing how the different arts would apply okay um, to people with different builds doing the martial arts. Sure, okay, okay. So the way I see it as a striking coach um, is most people, they have different body builds. Someone who's short and stubby is kind sure. of, they have to get it on the inside. They'd be like a dagger, right? Sure, sure, As exactly. opposed to someone who's tall and lanky and they'd yep. be kind of like a spear. Sure, I So I, I try okay. and take um, what I think would work best in their skill set and just try and apply that. Okay. So you kind of, you create like sort of different program if you're training... If you're training somebody, you kind of like you build on their strengths and stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, okay. first okay. with someone new, I just try and um, see how how good of a foundation they have. Obviously, okay. you want to build the basics first, but okay. then 
you kind of just got to let their own individual personality shine through in the way that they fight, and then you kind of build on their strengths and um, take away from their weaknesses. Oh, that's pretty amazing. Isn't it? I like that. Very cool philosophy. How did you become a striking How does one become a striking coach? I, I just kind of want to say it fell into to my lap. Okay. Um, I started working as an assistant Muay Thai coach after I finished fighting. In the States? Um, or, in the or States. Where? Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. And then I just kind of fell in love with the, uh, the coaching aspect of it. Okay. Being able to see parts of myself um, put into another athlete. Okay. That's, um, that's, that's, and what, yeah. I, what I enjoy the most is these athletes, they're, they're not necessarily coming to you as the most gifted people, the most skilled fighters, right? They're just the everyday human being. Sure. Okay. But then you see them gain this little bit of confidence and maybe they try this competition and they're like oh wow this you know i could get through this thing it's like getting your first tattoo you're just like sure. it's gonna hurt but you, okay. you live through it right okay and you see their confidence grow and then okay you see them become better and better and better and um i didn't have this kind of coach when i was when i was a child okay so being able to see like kids um start off in a sport and slowly build their confidence okay That's so you really said you, you started it. with boxing at the beginning yeah, I started okay with boxing. Um, okay i was a huge mike tyson fan Everybody loves up, Mike Tyson, um, man. Yeah, I sure, like, sure. I want, I want to be that guy, Everybody but loves I, him, I realized yeah. soon that I wasn't. Okay, well, there's yeah. there aren't very many of them. <laughs> very no, many Mike Tyson. He's, right? he's, yeah. he's naturally gifted. Yeah, he's one of a kind, yeah. kind of a guy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Mike. So any other any other sort of more current boxers that do you watch much boxing still Absolutely. nowadays? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Absolutely. so I, I love boxing. So what do you uh, what do you think of the state of boxing right now? I mean, I think the state of boxing is great. Um, a lot of guys in the lower weight classes are really tearing it up. Yeah. And uh, I've always thought, with all due respect to the bigger guys, that yeah. the little guys um, are kind of like pound for pound, the the funnest to watch, in my they, opinion. Uh, okay. I'm huge on this guy named Vasily Lomachenko. Of course. I was, that was one of my questions, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even a big boxing guy, mm -hmm. but I know who he is, and he's he's amazing. And, and uh, of course, everybody likes to watch the heavyweights, the big sluggers, but mm -hmm. when Lomachenko fights, I definitely watch him. He's like, a, it's kind of like the Matrix, you know? He just kind of glides, awesome. and he's um, amazing, yeah. Because... When I was a boxer, I tried to emulate Mike Tyson. Okay. Um, but I'm not Tyson, so I, I got hurt a lot okay, trying, okay. trying to hurt people okay, like trying, that yeah. too. Mike Tyson's got a unique, uh, and a unique way of fighting. And then when I started yeah. coaching people, yeah. I didn't want them to take that brawler style because though you inflict a lot of damage on someone yeah. else, you take a lot of damage yourself. Sure, sure. And if I'm, I'm training, let's say... Um, someone's child i don't want yeah. them to come out with the bloody nose and beat sure, up face sure, and like sure. yeah i'm a champ i'd rather them yeah, yeah. be able to hurt the opponent and them not be hurt themselves right so i kind of take like um instead of like a, a fighter's approach to where we're like both yeah. night fighters right and hurting yeah, sure, each other sure, sure, of course, i'm yeah. trying to take the fencing approach as okay. a coach like okay, i can sense. stick you you can't stick me what are you gonna do about it that's I mean, I've, I've obviously watched a lot of, the, of Kai's fights. I think mm -hmm. that's a lot of that comes out as well, right? He's, I, he's I think pretty that's hard guy we, to hit, right? Yeah. That's why we work so well together. Mm -hmm. okay. um, it's kind of like a melding of the minds. It's not, okay. hey, I'm the coach. It has to be this way. Okay. We, we come together and we're just like, hey, we want to go this direction. Uh, okay. Let's, let's go ahead and break down what we're both good at. And we both have our inputs. Boyle, can we get the wet ones? I forgot to grab them. Thanks, Muth. <laughs> well, that's that's cool. I think uh, so. In the UFC, there's there's also fighters like this, right? That, that I think uh, absolutely like a, like a Dominic Cruz, right, or a mm -hmm. TJ Dillashaw, right? Uh, mm -hmm. do, what what do you think of, of of sort of the lighter divisions as well in the UFC? You obviously watching yeah, UFC yeah. as well, right? I'm I'm, uh, I'm always. I, I think the game is always changing, uh -huh. and as a good coach in the modern day, in in my opinion, okay. Yeah, you always have to watch the sport because uh, all right yeah i agree you know it's man. a constant evolution right so agree, i'm always man. looking for the next best guy to come along okay or the next best coach and of course okay. i want to learn their philosophies uh, sure, and, and, of course. so obviously you you started as a you were fighting as well and you do still train yourself obviously correct, correct. so what would be the difference uh, in your eyes of, of being a fighter or being a coach um the biggest thing i've i've learned and I've made tons of mistakes going from being a fighter into a coach. Okay. The biggest one that I've learned along the way is that you can't expect the fighter you train to be just like you. Okay. And as a coach, it's more so about them than you. Okay. Right? Uh, a lot of coaches will be like, oh, I made this fighter. I made this and that. But okay. I don't necessarily think that's true, you know? Um, they may have studied before. Sure. You know, they, they watch YouTube. They've had yeah, other course, coaches before. Course, and all course, those yeah. other coaches and experiences they've gone to... Um, have helped build them up and it's just for you and your the, your athlete to kind of like fine-tune things 
Okay. Yeah, that's my opinion. No, that's that's pretty that's pretty amazing. Yeah, I think uh, some give and take, right? For yeah, sure. Absolutely. Instead of just saying, you know, I'm cloning myself into this guy, basically. I think that's, so that's too. Amazing. And then I'm okay. I'm also pretty open to to like with Kai and the other athletes that I train. Hey, if as a coach. No, okay. um, you feel if I, if I could do something better, then okay. I, I should be open to that as well. So. You're young though, man. I mean, that's yeah. pretty amazing. I, I mean, you you can't be that much older than your fighters. The, the white hair, yeah, yeah. Man. it's kind of coming in. I got, yeah. I got that stuff too. I got a lot of that. But I'm older than you. I mean, you're a young <laughs> guy, so that's pretty amazing to get to to the point you're at. We're I appreciate at your it. age, man. That's appreciate pretty it. bomb, man. I appreciate it. Right on, thank brother. you, thank you. Let's get the next wing, yeah. Yeah, sounds so good. So the next one is Chipotle. It's like a, I mean, you. From Cali, right? So I don't have to mm-hmm. explain what Chipotles are, right? Chipotle is the real Mexican food. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. No, don't get mad at me, guys. <laughs> there you go. All right, so we got a Chipotle wing. This one is kind of a sweet, smoky. Again, the first round is pretty mellow, so okay. get on in there, man. You want to go wing or yeah, toasty, let's, whatever you Yeah, let's do wing. All right, all right. Let's get on it. We don't get into the real pain until, until I don't think, anyway. Yeah. Hell yeah. Mmm, good. Do you like the wing or the drumstick more? I think the wing has more sauce mm-hmm. and more flavor. Mm-hmm. It's kind of, I don't know, uh, it's 50-50, but I, I probably, may, maybe the wing. No mas. There you go, no mas. Oh, wow, that is, there you go, man. <laughs> I love it, I love it. I didn't ask you, how do you do with spicy food usually? I'm pretty good. My fiance, good? she's yeah. mien. People okay. always ask like what ethnicity that is. Okay. Mm, it's like Chinese people from the border, like closer to Laos. They eat hell of spicy food. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's so, beautiful. So at home we'll take like a Thai chili pepper okay. and like some shrimp paste and dip it and eat it with. with oh shoot! Rice. Okay, so it should be no problem. I'm not saying I'm like a, a ghost pepper master, like spicy master, but I, go, I think I, I I tend to be you, de- somewhat decent. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll, that, we'll see. That's though. good. That's good. No, that's yeah. very cool. Right on, man. I don't want to overpromise and under deliver. <laughs> under deliver, right? Yeah, exactly. so we'll, yeah. See, we'll see. So, what's a typical fight camp look like? That's just for you, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. What does a typical fight camp look like? Um, well, typical let's say, fight like camp? right now, you're in fight camp, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah? Um, I mean, typically, we, we want to start anywhere from like six to eight weeks out. Okay. Um, generally, as a, as a coach, you would hope that your fighter always stays in somewhat good fight shape and okay. they don't like have a fight and then they go drink hella and get get all big and out of shape and then you gotta whip them back into shape you see weeks, a lot right? of that so with the UFC right some some guys do. like walk you know fighting at like 155 you know walking around at 200 or whatever it's like it's pretty it's that, pretty crazy man yeah, yeah. it happens but it's, yeah. it's also understandable yeah um, because you know in America or other places in the world, you gotta live, right? So you sure. got you got your you got your bills, you gotta pay, you gotta make yeah. rent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got all these things in order of importance, and then yeah. I understand if, if some people get sidetracked, but um, I, I know, can agree. Yeah, all, for sure. all things going forward, I, I'd hope that they stay in good shape, and then um, it really depends at the amateur level. You just you just want to magnify their strengths and okay. kind of take away their, their weaknesses, right? Sure, and then sure. you always want to sharpen the technique. Okay. At the pros, it becomes a little bit trickier. Okay. You do a, a lot of the same, but then now you're studying the game plan of the, uh, how to, how to kind of like, um, counter the opponent more. Sure. How, yeah. how, how to play into their, think, make their strengths play into your strengths. I guess when you get sort of higher, mm-hmm. higher, sort of higher level, is there, there's more a uh, uh, chance to see footage on on your your fighter? Do you Absolutely. sit there and just watch Absolutely. watch the heck out of the, out of the, the opponent and, I, and find I holes? Agree. Yeah, and so. also um, Kai's the main event this time, and for yeah, his opponent, amazing, I yeah. only have one video of him, okay, right? Okay, but and with Kai from, from, emerging as a um, yeah. as a rising star, if you yeah. go on YouTube, you see his name. Yeah, hell. there's hell of video. Yeah, sure. So sure, I know sure. I know his opponent's coach That's is good. watching that. Sure. So I'm thinking, what is his coach thinking to do to Kai? Yeah. And I'm going to try and counter that, right? Okay. So, it's like, yeah. I know a lot of people, they, they, I tell you know them that I love watching MMA and UFC and all that stuff. And mm-hmm. sometimes people, when they don't know, they're kind of like, oh, it's like cockfighting. But for me, it's kind of like a, like chess, right? It's like, yeah, absolutely. It's like, it's, it's like human chess, I, I believe. And it's pretty, it's pretty amazing, man. I, mm-hmm. I really enjoy 
I mean, I don't train or anything, but uh, I've been watching it, and it's 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 amazing. Everybody loves to watch. Absolutely, you know, people people just you know fighting right, and and, and it's pretty. It's pretty I think safe, for the right? people that think it's cockfighting or that is barbaric, I I could see that for sure. Um, like, okay, because it's a newer sport, right? And um, the gloves are obviously smaller. A lot of people they don't like blood. Which sure. is completely understandable, mm-hmm. but then yeah. they also have to understand that these the athletes they're willing to put themselves in there, and that they train day and night. It, it, it's a hobby that they enjoy, and they want to test themselves out. You know, if they decide to take it professional or this and that, that's totally up to them. But it's something that they're willing to do. Do you, Do you have a favorite fighter off the top of your mind? Um, you it really depends on the sport. On the sport, like yeah, I would the, say, get yeah, MMA, like UFC, one FC. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do you have one guy that you're just like, yeah, oh, this so, guy, got to watch him. I do. Um, or I, have a, I have two. Okay, yeah, and sure. And they're, they're sure, like two. 50-50. Number okay. one, um, I know Kai elaborated on it. So okay. I'm just going to say Jose Aldo. Jose, Jose Aldo okay. was a huge okay. inspiration. Sure, but, sure. But uh, another Love name that, that a lot yeah. of people don't mention because he's kind of older is uh, Miracle Krokop. Okay, Krokop. I, yeah, I saw this guy king, um, man. Yeah, we love soccer him. kicking people's heads. And I was like, <laughs> I want to do that. You want to so do that. So when I was in high school... Yeah. Um, okay. I had a speed bag because I was boxing at home all the time and okay. practicing. Sweet. I used to be a bad boy and cut school, stay in school. Stay in school, If you kids. want to. Stay in um, school, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I used to go home and practice my head kicks on the, the speed bag. Really? I was like, I wonder if this That's is what cool. it feels like to kick people's heads, you know? Okay. It doesn't feel like that, though. It doesn't feel like the speed bag? But it, it's, it's good for, for, for stretching out. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah Crow Cop, man. Love that guy. Beautiful. I've, I've always, lo- I've always yeah. loved Beautiful. watching Crow Cop. And, uh, yeah, I mean... I think sometimes, unfortunately, when the when some of the the legend guys they stay a little longer, it's kind of like, oh man, you know. But uh, you still still enjoy like Fader just fought, right? Fader just knocked just, out Rampage, right? Yeah. And uh, I mean, I also used to like Rampage. <laughs> I mean, Rampage is great, right? It just both of them. It's like okay, they're great. It's just I feel like oh, that's it's that's tough. how it's it definitely is. Tough. Every every nobody dog wants has to stop, stay, man. And also, yeah. I mean, the sure. greatest warriors of all time. Just like if you look at lions, right? Yeah, for um, sure. When lions get old, they can't defend their territory for territory for forever. Sure, it's a, um, yeah. I agree. And then what makes fighters such great fighters? Yeah, is their stubbornness, right? Their willingness sure. to be game and to compete. Yeah, because I, this I isn't a sport like oh, I don't feel like training today. You won't. You obviously won't get too far. So well, it's Anderson Silva, right? Like mm-hmm. he was on top for so long. Long and then, mm-hmm. you know, he lost to uh, he was fooling around a little bit and he lost to to Weidman, right? Yeah. And then the rematch and the leg, you know, he broke his leg and stuff, and it's mm-hmm. like, wow, it's, that's that's rough to see because at the time Anderson was like, yeah, you're like, no one's gonna beat this guy, right? It's yeah. Pretty amazing, yeah. Uh, I lo- well, did you see uh, the the Silva and uh, the Stylebender fight? Yeah, Israel Adesanya. What did you think of that? Yeah, Israel yeah. Adesanya. Yeah, me and one of my that? buddies, uh, we've yeah. been looking at that. Yeah, well, we called that he was gonna be a champion long okay. before. Yeah, um, and then there's like, especially for his style in Muay Thai, they call it like a Muay Femu, but then it's um, okay. It's kind of like Sanchai, right? Okay. They have their own style, which okay. requires like they have excellent timing, vision. They can bait He's you. Cre- I love that guy. Um, He's great, man. Yeah, and. He's very evasive and, and lures you into things, right? He doesn't just rely on, hey, my hands are up. I'm going to block everything you throw, and I'm going to attack you back. Yeah. It, everything's like, I'm trapping you. I'm baiting you into something. You know, I'm going to play you into my game. He's, he's, um, I thought that the Whitaker fight would be closer, but it was such a such a domination, I found, by, by Adesanya. I'm yeah. also a big fan of him, and, and I... I I knew he would. He would also go he's, up the he's top. The new it was quick guys. though. It was so quick that he, he went to the top so fast. Yeah. I mean, he was training in China, right? Fighting in China and stuff, mm-hmm. and and uh, apparently his Mandarin's really good and stuff. Camp was yeah. telling me that, which is pretty amazing. So, yeah, it's, it's like, pretty uh, cool. The, the, the black dragon, right? Hey, long lease. It's, it's, yeah. it's pretty crazy, man. Uh-huh. But uh, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know that backstory. So that's also that's pretty damn cool, man. I like that. Yeah. That's very cool. It's, and and he's great. So so big fan. Of yeah, his. I mean, yeah. I. I, I I study Israel Adesanya a lot. Yeah, I, and his coaches—they're yeah. doing something right at City, City, Kickbox- City Kickboxing. Yeah. yeah, because obviously his uh, his uh, teammate yeah. uh, Alexander Volkanovsky—he Volkanovsky, right? just won yeah. against Max Holloway, right? Which, and then that was all game planning. Yeah, you know, uh, was that was. I also thought that that I mean Max Holloway is usually at one forty-five. He looked unbeatable, mm-hmm. right? That was uh, that was pretty crazy, man. Uh, Volkanovski, I think he's still undefeated, right? I mean, mm-hmm. in, in, yeah. Well, I mean, his Amazing. coach said yeah. it the best. Yeah. You, you don't, in yeah. his case, they study what Max Holloway's strength was instead of his weakness, right? Yeah. And then, so they plan to counter his strength. 
That's and so it's that's, that's, just like it's it's the the chess game that's constantly evolving yeah. nowadays. So that's good coaching, man. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Love it. Mm-hmm. Let's get on that next one, man. Nice. Next one, we got a little Korean, a little Korean style wing in Korean. there. Korean, yeah. nice, right on, brother. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Korean I, style. I love Korean, so we actually we we made this sauce. I got I got a buddy or one of my guys in the back Korean. who's uh is it family Korean? family is like part Korean and. When he was cooking, I'm hella like, glossy. I was like, yeah, let's do it. So yeah. we got this is the Korean style, man. Nice. I do love I do love Korean and, and uh, all Korean Asian stuff, man. And, and uh, yeah, would you take uh, on any given day? Would you go hot pot or Korean barbecue? I still like barbecue. No, huh? barbecue is. Uh, that's tough, actually. Hmm. If it's a uh, spicy hot pot, I love spicy hot pot, man. Mm. Love me some spicy. like mala flavor. Yeah, mala mm. Yeah, yeah. Got a little on the side here, bro. Yeah. Okay. And uh, oh, I'm getting it everywhere, guys. All right. You know, it's funny. One of the shows I did uh, had this singer on, and she's awesome. And she had this, she had this like big smear on her face, and I was like, mm-hmm. um, um. <laughs> it was so funny. I was like, uh, what do I do? Mm-hmm. No, but uh, so back to uh, to training with Kai. Um, mm-hmm. You guys need uh, sparring partners, I guess, right? Sure. How does one go about finding a sparring partner? Um, Somebody does it have to be someone within his weight range? I would guess so, right? Or no? Well, I mean, you would like for him to stay sharp as consistently as possible. Well, sure. So finding sparring har- partners. Um, you kind of have to build them up sometimes. Not everyone's going to be at your level. Sure. Okay. Um, but for some particular uh, opponents, like they have specific attributes. Like okay. s- let's say someone's a southpaw, right? Sure. And mm-hmm. they're super tall or okay. let's say one person's the same height as him and is uh, a karate style. Okay. Um, that's usually what we, we try and have teammates and people that we cross train with. And okay. we ask other coaches like, hey, is it okay if we cross bar and, you know, give him this specific look okay. the whole time? So that way we try and emulate his opponent as much as possible. So when he steps in the cage, he's like, oh, th- this is this feels familiar. Sure, sure, right? sure. Or okay. let's say. Um, is it difficult to find people like, like that or like sparring I, partners? I would say I would say it is. I would. Yeah. yeah okay. Especially at the at the higher level, um, because uh, Especially locally, all the good guys tend to know each other after a while. Yeah. But then all the pros coming up, they're like, "We're gonna cross paths." And then what happens if we fight? And I don't want to be like training with your your teammate or this and that, and we're friends and this and that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. it becomes harder to find over time. It's just walking the fine line of professionalism. Okay. Sure. Sure. Um, and also, if if I'm holding pads for him, if, if his opponent's a southpaw, then okay. I'll hold southpaw for him the whole time. Okay. Um, or I'll hold pads for him, and like if he, his opponent's a taekwondo style, I'll switch the way I, I hold pads as opposed to if his opponent was a boxer and whatnot. So okay, we just try and emulate the look as much as possible. I understand. So yeah. it looks familiar. So on that topic, with uh, sort of different camps, different teams, different coaches. Do you ever find any kind of friction with other teams or other coaches? Or, or I try not to. I mean, I mean, like I know I've heard that everyone's cool, and you know, th- let's say one guy here he cross trains with everybody. For sure. Some people are like, hey, that's cool, and some teams are like, you know, fuck that dude. I don't want, you know, I don't want yeah, him here. Yeah, I mean, because, there's yeah. there's absolutely you're How right you? about absolutely both. Yeah. Some some people act like it's cool and they're sugarcoat it, and they'll yeah. talk shit behind your back, right? Okay. Yeah. And sure. then there's some some people um, that'll put on a front. Okay. Like they'll talk shit, but then they'll, they'll end up being good sparring partners just because they're intimidated, right? Okay. Um, so, I, th- I think it's just walking a fine line of professionalism. Me, okay. personally, I, I try not to have beef with any camps out there. Yeah. I try okay. and stay pretty neutral. Okay. You know, I'm not I'm not a drama guy. Okay. So. Well, you don't seem like it. <laughs> yeah, I just want to want to eat chicken wings, come to Taiwan, yeah, eat yeah. the world fan, and yeah. relax, man. Yeah, yeah, man. So... Do you guys do you get out here much to Taiwan or? I mean, every time he. Your family's from from around here. Yeah, like so, so my, fam- my my parents are from Taiwan. Oh, the parents are from okay. Yeah, from, they're from Taiwan. From Taipei uh, or from from where? You my know? mom's originally from Burma. Okay. Yeah, okay. but then um, she moved out with her uh, stepfather okay. in Taiwan when she was young, and then okay. my dad he's originally from Taipei. 
Okay, nice. So they're nice. pen pals. So you got family yeah. and stuff here, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you come out, you get to see the family. I still have a chocho over here. Yeah, all right. And they give you the food, and they're just like, hey, yeah. they try to fatten you up and stuff. And then, I've, I mean, I've been out here enough times with with Kai, and yeah. his family's kind of like my family, because we're so close, you know? Yeah, for sure. Um, okay. How long have you been training Kai, or with I, Kai? or, or... I want to say like the better part of three and a half years now. Okay, wow. It's quite yeah. a while. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay, okay. Yeah, it feels like a lot longer, but it's just because yeah. of what we've accomplished in that short amount of time. Yeah, yeah, I was and going through some of some of the some of the, uh, the info on, on him and you yeah. guys, and I was like, damn. I, I think it's just a testament it's pretty to, cool man. if you put your mind into something and yeah. you know like you have all the right resources and yeah um, things kind of just fall into place that's pretty yeah, yeah i think uh, i think uh team teamwork is such a big thing and i think that uh i'm really excited that's that's why one of the, the reason i did this podcast mm-hmm. sort of is because with the restaurant you get to meet so many cool people doing so many cool things and most people are busy doing their thing mm-hmm same as me. I mean, I've been doing this restaurant for about 12 years. Yeah. But uh, you hear so many cool things. Like, like I've known Kemp for a while, and mm-hmm. you yeah, get to Kemp, hear so Kemp many. Yeah. Kemp's awesome. Right? We yeah. love Kemp. Yeah, it's uh, hella funny. No, uh, basically, we try to keep, I don't know, I just, there's so many stories that you hear, mm-hmm. and, and I just think I got to find a way that I can sort of share these stories with people yeah. because like what you guys are doing, it's really, it's amazing, right? It's mm-hmm. really cool. Uh, I find like CEOs and CFOs of big company that come in for the fish tacos and beers and yeah. you chat with them and they, they just everything that that happens it's really cool man the restaurant is a, it's a pretty cool thing so yeah bro so yeah, yeah I, I don't I, it's amazing I mean there's definitely rough patches for sure mm-hmm. I mean this, this is the first right now I mean I didn't get very much sleep oh, yeah happy new year's everybody happy new year's to everybody yeah we're gonna you guys are gonna be putting on a show in what a week the 12th yeah yeah, on the twelfth, we had no, actually yeah. moved the date because a big old election's coming up in Taiwan, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, so they moved it from the eleventh to the twelfth. Oh my gosh, it, the, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you know what I mean, like the the outcome is still going to be the outcome. May the best man win. So the the elections are are, are something really big here. I mean, they it's are. pretty it's pretty it's pretty crazy to you know people can be pretty chill and pretty mellow, but when the uh, topic of politics comes up, which I really I never get involved in. Mm-hmm. It's like, wow, people kind of, they explode. They're I know, it's super huge. Super pro or super against. And yeah. you're like, all right, just Even my dad beer, relax, is watching man. That. Yeah, is, yeah. yeah I, go, I think right? beer's the answer. Yeah, beer's the yeah, answer. Everybody people just People need chill. to drink beer. Joe, can you turn the music off? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, I think, <laughs> turn it off. Yes, basically, yeah. So beer, just have beer, relax, have a Taiwan beer. Yeah, dude. We got lots and lots of local craft beers here, so everyone take it, take it easy, relax. Well, if you're too we'll young, just drink there. boba. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. Do you guys get much any of that back? I guess so, right? In California, they must we have, have hell right? of boba now. Do you Cal- now? California yeah. is like a melting pot of everything, California. and people are super receptive and open in the, to everything in Cali. I, we, um, I went to visit out there. Uh, I did this sort of this business course way back, and mm-hmm. uh, I went out there to check it out. And people always say, "Oh, there's you know, LA is, is all Mexicans and blah blah." blah. And, and when we landed, it was crazy because everyone's speaking Spanish. And I mean, I haven't been in that environment for so long, and it was just like, whoa! It was pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed it, man. I really liked it there a lot. Yeah, I enjoy. I mean, like, I come from a small town in Canada, uh-huh. uh, uh, and the big city, the biggest city for us is usually Vancouver. Mm. But uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I enjoyed LA more than Vancouver is by that right? far. Yeah, by far. Yeah. LA's food yeah, is hella good. It, yeah. LA yeah. and the Bay Area. Yeah. I'd, I'd say. With all due respect, out of everywhere I've traveled in the world, yeah, um, probably has the best mix okay. of like good Mexican, Italian, Asian, uh, all, all a little bit of everything. So, I agree. Um, yeah, no, when I went, I was pretty amazed with just little little pieces of Mexico, and you could just get everything there. And, and everyone, again, everyone was speaking Spanish, and I was mm-hmm. like, "Holy crap, this is, yeah. this is great." It's so. like I don't even I'm not even speaking English at all. This is cool. It's, yeah. Uh, when the course I went to was about ten people, half were Mexican, and we just it was it was it was a pretty funny thing because uh, there's not very many Mexican uh, sort of vegetarians, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, this course was like a sort of a business course, and it was like a holistic, you know, be cool sort of a deal. It was kind of some a new thing for us. Yeah. And uh, so the food they provided was vegetarian, right? Mm. And it was funny because everyone's like, oh, this is great. And the Mexicans are like, what the fuck is this shit? They're just like, oh, my God, yeah. I can go down the street and get tacos. And yeah. it's way, you know. And I'm like, ah. they had the, the, 
tamales, right? Tamales. Yeah. Uh, and one of the meals was uh, catered, and it was uh, tamales, and we were all stoked. I'm like, yes, because we make them, but there's so much work, so we don't make them that, much, sure, that sure. often. Uh-huh. And uh, they were like filled with pumpkin. Yeah, like, it was like pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Right? I was like pumpkin. Yeah, I was like okay, and then I was like okay, I had it. I was like, eh. dude, I had it, this bomb super yeah. burrito. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not too long ago they put yeah. uh, nopales and uh, nopal. Oh yeah, that's, and then that's good stuff, kombucha sure. pumpkins inside oh, and refried yeah, that beans. Sounds good. That sounds hella good. damn good. Shout Love out to it. the vegetarians. Yeah, some, for there's sure. Some good stuff out Definitely, there. Definitely, yeah. Actually, for for the wings, we actually do uh, we do cauliflower rings as, wings as well. Oh, okay, so these, we, this uh, is real chicken. Though, yeah, right? this, this is real chicken though. This is real deal. Yeah. So jump on in. Let's get on the next one. Right. What do we got? What I, I got a wing, I got a wing on this one. Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Dope. So uh, this one is uh, no, usually I make the the sauces with you know sort of the harder peppers to get and stuff. Yeah. And this one, I was like, why don't we just go to the market? And then use uh, local, you know, the big long local cayenne peppers, like those big. Oh, okay, long. okay. So this is this is this is made with that the cayenne pepper. Yeah, the, the long Taiwanese sort of cayenne peppers. Mm-hmm. Joe, can you okay round two? Tell the kitchen round two. Yeah. These are good. Thanks, man. I've liked every single one so far. Thank you. Well, usually I'll make I'll make all of the sauces myself until I get it to a point where I really like it, mm-hmm. and then I'll sort of systemize a recipe, and then I'll sort of delegate it mm. to my guys. And I got some good guys in there, so nice. yeah, so they're they're working on them right now. Are are all your chefs bilingual? Um, this is tough. This is a tough one to answer. Um, so when we started doing the restaurant, obviously. I couldn't really speak much Chinese Mm -hmm. and so we hired people that could speak English and it's so it's 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 easier to it's easier to for me to just learn Chinese than for every single person to learn English yeah you know what I mean so like my Chinese is all right it's not it's not amazing but uh Mm -hmm. yeah I mean it's it's like right now I got I've I've got a Filipino guy I got some Indonesian guys I got of course a couple Taiwanese guys are we gonna have any synagogue wings or adobo wings uh, we got we got a couple of mixed ones in there, man. I mean, we got we got. Uh, I'm working on a couple of different things. Actually, one of so my wife is actually just throw them in there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. There you go. Perfect. So my this is my wife actually. Hi. Hello. Um, my wife is Hakka, right? So my 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 in laws my my family's from Miaoli, and my my mother in law does this pork this kong roll that's. It's amazing, right? Ooh. So what we do now uh, at the little restaurant, because the little restaurant needed a boost, mm-hmm. um, we do these haka pork tacos. Oh, dude. there's It's crazy because pe- people are like, non-Asian people are like, that's that's weird, you know, what are you doing, blah, blah, blah. No, and then man. when they get them, they're like, holy crap, this is like next level stuff. So wow, it's pretty damn it, man. good, man. So... uh I'm actually in the process. I'm going to bring a lot of the menu stuff over to this one as well. And then mm-hmm. uh, we'll have that as well. So we'll have that mm-hmm. soon. I don't have them for you today, but I will. The next time I see you guys, I'll have some, some hot pork tacos Absolutely. to try so, out, man. So right, we're about ha- this round, round one, no problem, right? Easy stuff, right? Good. So I know that you like spice. How many food. rounds do we have? Two? Just the two. Just okay, the two, go. yeah? So I'm going to re- uh, fire off some names for you and, and like some rapid fire here. And you yeah, just tell me what it. you think, yeah? Right. Some are coaches. Some are... Uh, fighters, uh, obviously more striking, right? Yeah, striking more good, So let's go. Uh, let's do some coaches, yeah. Yeah. For us, a hobby. It's dope. Yeah. So yep. for us, a hobby. I obviously, I, I, I thought he was a he's a mastermind behind GSP, right? Yeah. He was for just sure. recently on Fight Tips and uh, with Shane Faison, and um, I, I liked a lot of the, the off angling and then. The, uh, the blading that he was doing okay super super huge on it very cool very cool nice nice love him what about uh duke rufus duke rufus yeah i like his style duke rufus i like i like how um him and his brother were able to take that um what do they call it like the old american style kickboxing Mm -hmm. and able to integrate muay thai into it after the the fight with chang puik okay he just He's, he's like the face of a uh, American striking coach. So, yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Uh, Mike Winklejohn, Greg Jan- 
Jackson Wink. Yeah, Jackson, Jackson Wink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you so, think of that that camp? I think that's a great camp. I know a lot of greats came from yeah. from them. I don't know too much uh, in depth about them, okay. but I know they've produced a lot of champions. Nice, okay, uh, like John Jones, right? Yeah. John Jones, the Beast, mm-hmm. yeah. Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach. Yeah. Freddie Roach is dope. Yeah. He's yeah. um, he's he's actually one of my biggest inspirations as a okay. coach. Okay. Nice. And All I right, say I this uh, from a personal standpoint because okay. uh, my dad has Parkinson's. Okay. So. Okay. Um, Freddie Roach has Parkinson's and Tremors as well, I but then that. just okay. seeing that that boxing is, uh-huh. is still able to help him out so much in okay. terms of mobility, movement, hand-eye coordination, and okay. for him to still be able to do what he does, okay, um, is great. I also love the way he holds pads. He, he I know, I've seen, he, yeah, I've seen lots of foot. I mean, obviously, you see differently than I do when I mm-hmm. see someone hold pads, but definitely, he's pretty awesome. Yeah, he's, he's he's great at it. Beautiful. What about John Kavanaugh? John Kavanaugh, um, he's huge mentor to me. Okay, Um, really? I've actually, you know, between you, me, and everyone on this podcast, yeah, I used to take the BART back then when uh, my car was POS, right? I used to have to drive an hour, hour and a half to go train uh, Kai and his... um, and his teammates at Gorilla Jiu Jitsu in, okay. in Pleasanton. Sure, sure. Okay. And on the bike ride there, I mean, there's not a damn thing to do. But then I picked up this book called Me and McGregor. Okay. And uh, John Kavanaugh, as you know, is Conor McGregor's coach. Of course, yeah. He yeah. kind of told his backstory okay. on how he and McGregor came about. And I, I tried to relate to him in the same terms that Kai and I um, nice. are. And then All I right. kind of tried to use what he saw to foresee our journey as well. Okay. Um, so. I want to say in part that I um, I would attribute what we're doing into uh, wow okay parts of reading his book. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Okay, damn. All right, so I, I all right, I nailed yeah. one. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, one more. Let's do uh, Javier Mendez. Javier Mendez. Yeah. AKA, Striking coach right? AKA. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't know too much about him. With yeah. all due respect to yeah, him. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Um, like Khabib and, and those and guys, right? Yeah. yeah. DC, right? Yeah. Kane. Big boys, yeah. Um, yeah, Rock he's, he's he's trained a lot, a lot of great people. I love, um, yeah. Beautiful, I love it, man. Let's uh, let's go into a couple strikers yeah, here. Sure. Yeah, I gotta say, Israel Adesanya, right? Adesanya. Yeah, I mean, what do you think? Of, what, what do you think of when I say Israel Adesanya? Uh, one it, word or? is uh, slick. Slick. Okay. Okay. He's a, he's a slickster. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very cool. I like that. I like that. The slickster, Israel mm-hmm. Adesanya. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Okay. Uh, what about Stephen Thompson, Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy Thompson? Wonder Boy is wonderful. I mean, in this modern day and age, I, I think that um, with the emergence of MMA becoming such a big thing yeah. from the American side, people were just like, "We're strong in wrestling and we're strong boxers," right? So they took this. That's the approach to being a, a complete martial artist or sure. a fighter okay. in the past. Okay. And then we saw a resurgence uh, that when the Brazilians started taking over in, in some part. It was Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu, right? Sure. Yeah. And then so people were just like, oh, you need to learn the big four to be complete. Okay. You know, you have, as a stand up, you have boxing and Muay Thai. Yep. Ground game, you have wrestling and Jits. Yep. Okay. And then so people were kind of like, oh, the other martial arts, Taekwondo, karate, all this. Um, th- that shit doesn't work, but that's not true, right? Okay, it all depends okay. on how you apply it. Sure, okay. Right, so Wonder Boy is just a great testament, and okay. with guys like, like Ramon point, Daniels but, and things yeah. like that, that you just have to formulate that into what you do. He got all the way to the top, man. He yeah, fought he's, he's twice, great, right? man. Yeah, he's I mean, yeah. most people don't know in the IKF, like which is a um, kickboxing Muay Thai. He was undefeated, like fifty and yeah, exactly. 60 and 0 yeah, something, yeah. right? Yeah, uh-huh. something huge. So, yeah, that's amazing, man. Mm-hmm. Love that guy. Anderson Silva. I'd still say he's, um, for his time, he was the GOAT. The GOAT, okay. He was just like GSP in a different way. Sure, um, sure. He, he had that. They were trying that, to make that fight way back, right? Yeah. They What'd were. What you think of that? They yeah. were. I, I thought it would have been a good fight. Um, yeah, if they were both prime. I, I think, you know, with all due respect, there's weight classes for a reason. Sure. Um, and Anderson Silva has just has that X factor, you know? Um, I think... The greatest thing I learned from Anderson Silva is that um, timing beats power. Okay. Yeah, t- mm-hmm. uh, man, big fan. I love Anderson Silva. Yeah. He's a, he's one of my favorites of all time, to be mm-hmm. honest. A couple other strikers. We'll go. <coughs> Got to go, John Jones. John Jones. John Jones. Yeah, yeah. He's kind of like a. Well, yeah. 
Yeah. Like, I mean... I mean, his fighting, his yeah, outside his, his, the ring His fighting is great. Whatever, I mean, yeah. outside the ring is outside of the ring. We're okay. all human beings sure, and we sure, all make sure. mistakes, right? Sure, sure. Um, but he's a, he's a wonderful fighter. He's, he's, he's kind of like that... Um, one of the first guys in the new age that stepped through and okay. was good in everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before yeah. there were specialists. Yeah. He came in and he he pretty much beat up everybody, right? Yeah. And it was just like, oh, I could beat you in stand up. I could beat you on the ground. I could beat yeah. you in this and that. So, I, 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 he was like a prodigy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think anyone, anyone beats him um, right now? Right now? Or do you think he's got to move up? No, I think. I don't think he has to do either or. I okay. think I think if it's not broken, don't fix it. Yeah. Um, I think that no one beats John Jones just at, yet. At two oh five. He he yet. was like the Anderson Silva before, but then yeah. what what's gonna happen is like eventually there's gonna be this young kid who who watches John Jones and is his favorite fighter knows yeah. just about just as much about John Jones as he does. Okay. And he's gonna be like, I want to be the better version of him. Okay. And then he's going to be better at everything else. And then it's just the evolution of the game, right? Yeah, the grow, the guys that grew up trying to be like Michael Jordan, right? Yeah, and sure, you get, sure, sure. You know sure. what I mean? Yeah, so. exactly. Beautiful. All right, we'll do one more. Yeah. You can't you can't talk about it without uh, without talking about Conor McGregor, right? I mean, big fan of Conor, but uh, yeah. what do you think, Conor McGregor? I, I I think he's absolutely hilarious. Yeah, he's for hella sure. funny. Okay, he's very. I'm, funny, I'm yeah. very sarcastic. Uh, yeah, I'm very yeah. monotone, but I yeah. like to crack some dumbass jokes. But okay, I love his. Um, I I think actually he's good for the sport. Sure. Yeah. I don't think sure. that Taiwanese people would take well to that that type of thing. But you know, the Irish people, from what I know, they're very witty. And I've got, they're, got a they're, few they're Irish fighters. Friends. You know, yeah. I, I love those dudes. Um, I think he's great for the sport, <laughs> and he yeah. he brought a different element to it, right? I yeah. If if, if Bringing a backstory and being loud is what the sport needed for all these other dudes to get noticed. I'd be lying if I said that Conor McGregor didn't directly influence Kai or myself, okay, right? Okay. We wouldn't be in as big of a limelight if okay. Conor McGregor wasn't there. So I'm appreciative of him as and his coach. Yeah, and, for uh, sure. I, his, his antics, you know. I, let's. I have a. The ne- my next question yeah. is going to be about. Uh, what you thought about the Mayweather McGregor fight? But uh, let's grab a wing first. Yeah, let's yeah? Do it. so that one is this next wing is made with, uh, like I was saying, I'm trying to use some of the local stuff. So obviously you've had like gombao jiding, sort of those chilies, right? Yeah. yeah of so course. that's the, that's that's one of the chilies that we use for that. Gombao jitsu. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. So dive on in, man. Whatever, whatever you want to so get. I'm on, I'm on the drumstick this time. Get on there. Dope. Yeah. Do we have any more towelettes? I'm hella messy. Yeah, right here, brother. Grab these. Oh, grab thank these. you. Yeah, so no worries, it. man. Yeah. So the way the, this sauce came about when my mom was here and uh, she was making, this was years ago, she was giving me uh, tips on making tamales, right? Mm. And uh, she's like, there's a special sauce that we always make with our tamales, mm-hmm. but we need like dried chilies, chile de arbol, right? Mm. And I'm like, no, we're not getting that here, mom. Mm-hmm. So we go into the, into the market and she's like, oh, this is it. I'm like, oh no, those are the chilies for like the gombao ji ding. And she's like, same shit. We're going to use this. It's going to taste exactly the same. It's perfect. And uh, we good? You, me? Oh, you. man. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Savor the flavor. Savor it. Yeah, so so my mom was like, yeah, so we, she, she, kidding, she told guys. me she showed me how to make this sauce. And it, it pairs amazing with, uh, with, with tamales. And obviously the tamales run out and I still had a tub of sauce and I started putting it out and... People were just like, "Damn, this is good. It tastes familiar, but we can't put our finger on it." It's the, it's the gombao ji ding peppers, mm. man. Yeah, yeah, which I love. It's one of my favorite. Uh, gombao ji ding is like a it's like, oh, personal favorite yeah. of mine, man. I got I got a story about gombao ji ding. You know, I went into this, uh, to this, you know, quite hot yeah, and and, and uh, you know, I go in and the ladies like, I guess we get some foreigners in there, but so I go in and she's like, "Hey, white guy, hey, we got gombao ji ding." And I'm like, and I'm, you know, I'm speaking Chinese to her. I'm like, well, what do you mean? We got, I'm like, what do you mean, white guy? We got gombao jiding. She's yeah. like, no. She's like, no, like white girl. And she's like, oh, oh, white girls all like gombao jiding. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, well, you know, I like a lot, a lot, lot of things, you know. And I list out all the stuff that I like. Yeah. And she's like, okay, okay, cool, yeah, no problem, no problem. And she's like, okay, so what can I get? I'm like, okay, I'll have, you know, this and that. 
and gombao jiting. <laughs> and she's just like, I knew it. I'm like, well, it's delicious. Of course we like it, you know? So we love gombao jiting. I know there's you know? some things people will be yeah. like, um, yeah. that they're not like super Chinese, like Mongolian beef or General So's chicken, right? Yeah, no yeah, one knows sure. what General So is. Yeah, dude. for sure. The general. Or, or right? you don't yeah. come to Taiwan and you're like, I want orange chicken or lemon. Yeah, for sure. You know yeah. What I mean? um, but gombao jiting thing is like one of those things. It kinda, I, I still. It's kind of it crosses. I, I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll just eat it anyways. Just yes. Hella good. For sure. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's. Uh, for me, that kind of there's there's this place in Danshui. We used to live in Danshui, and there uh-huh. was uh, this this big Taiwanese restaurant. They they had gombao jiting, and it was it was it was okay. Mm-hmm. But they do also this uh, this pig intestine. This uh, it's like a it's a, gong, it's a, like yeah, a little yeah, one. Yes, yes. Yeah. So they use they do gombao gombao fei chang whatever, right? Oh, and yeah, so yeah. I'd go in there. And I'd get that. It's way better than gombao jiting, first of all. Yeah. And it's like... It's a deep fried first. It's deep fried. Like, yeah, and it's yeah, super it's crunchy, yep. super crispy. And they were always like, foreigners don't eat that. I'm like, oh, but my, my family's Mexican. Yeah, so yeah. we like, we eat everything. Uh-huh. We eat everything. So they're like, ah. So every time I would go in there, they'd be like, it's oh, like hey. like a Taiwanese this, tripa. This guy gets his own. Exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah. Tacos a tripa. Man. Exactly. Yep. So it's, it's exactly what it is, man. So yeah. I'd go there and I'd be like, man, this thing in a taco would, would kill it. Kill it for sure. So I, I might do that one day. I might do that one day. Yeah, dope. So yeah, we were talking about Connor. Obviously, uh, what did you think of the, the Mayweather McGregor fight? Before you answer, um, when he when he did that, mm-hmm. uh, you were saying he, you know a lot of people he got a lot of eyes right yeah. on 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 MMA. Uh-huh. Uh, I have two restaurants. They both they both filled up. I mean, I when I do UFCs and stuff like that, we get 10, 20 Maybe we'll fill up one. Connor fills both places up. When he fought uh, Mayweather, I had like Taiwanese, you know, people that come and eat, grandmas and like just everybody coming in saying like, hey, hey, you're showing the, uh, the Conor McGregor oh, fight? Really? And I'm like, what? And they're, yeah. I'm like, of course I'm showing it, but what? You you actually care about that? And they're just like, yeah, I want to see if he can, you know, if he can, you know, land, land like that left on, on Mayweather, you know? And you're like, what? And I mean, I'm it's not every day. It's you crazy. Get a, you get a, yeah. a, a comedian that could whoop your ass. You know? Yeah, it's of course, crazy. Everyone's man. gonna watch that. Dude. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So, how do you think he did? I think he did good. He did all right. Yeah. He did all right. Um, yeah. I mean, let's be real. They're, I mean, they're, they're professionals in their. There's the yeah. professionals in their sport for a reason. Sure. Of course. Right? Of course. Yeah. Um, like I'm not gonna. I mean, no one thought he was gonna beat Mayweather. I mean, I mean the, some people thought, but the, the beauty of our sport yeah, is that yeah. there's always a puncher's chance. I could be a professional exactly. athlete, sure, 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 you know, yeah. yeah. And I, I could get decked, you know, that that's the beauty of the sure. sport anytime, yeah. any place. Um, yeah. but I, I thought he did great and I okay. thought it was, it was good for, I thought it was good for MMA. I thought it was good for boxing. I yeah. thought it was good for, um, fighting entertainment and okay. just in general. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I okay, and and he made it. He made it uh, pretty far, right? I think he made it to the tenth. I think, yeah. and then he, he gassed, right? I think and it was then, one of the first times yeah. to where you really see like people there. They stay in their niche. Like you yeah. get people that's just like, oh, I'm a boxer watching guys. Yeah, yeah. And the Muay Thai guys is like, oh, I only want to watch Muay Thai. And the MMA yeah. is like, we're MMA dudes only. Yeah. That's one of the first times um, you got people that were hardcore MMA guys and hardcore boxers that yeah. wanted. That, that that bought for both. Yeah, and big, right? so, and they made some big money, right? Yeah, too. it was good, yeah, it was good yeah. for the sport, man. I good, I love it. I love, have you ever had a, a sparring partner where you brought in for one of your guys? Let's say, let's use Kai as an example, mm-hmm. and maybe he he hits him too hard, or he he, he injures him, or, or you, and then you're thinking, oh fuck, I brought the wrong guy in, or have, has that situation ever? Maybe um, not Kai, but anybody. No, like, anybody. Of, of course it's happened. Yeah. And of, okay. of course, when, you, you, when you, you start off like, as a you, coach, okay, yeah. and it's happened to me before, sure. you know, okay. like, yeah. I've I've gone in and it's just like, oh, go hard on this dude. Okay. And uh, just because in boxing, you spar way, way, way harder than you do okay. in Muay Thai, to, okay. let's say. Shh, Muay Thai, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's where it's all like te- technical sparring. So okay. I've, I've been the good guy and the bad guy. But okay. as a coach, of course, it's, it's happened. Okay. Um, and I've gotten better with it over the years. Yeah. But typically, um, as opposed to what everyone thinks, it's usually the professional fighters um, that have the best control. Okay. Right. So if I know I'm going to deck you over the head with a kick, yeah. 
I can pull it last second. Or sure. if I'm going to fly in you, mm. um, then I, I'll pull it at the last second. It's usually yeah. the, the new people. Yeah. That I'm, I'm the know, most right? afraid that they're going to hurt somebody, right? Because yeah. they're they're very anxious mm-hmm. and they kind of want to prove themselves. But that's not the point. Okay. It's just like if you scrimmage your own teammate, right? In yeah. basketball, let's say yeah. you don't go there and you're dunking on this Throwing guy the whole time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not trying to box him out and knock yeah. him on the floor every time. Yeah. That's yeah. only two people that don't know what you're about. So Okay. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I love it. Yeah. yeah. So obviously you, you guys are doing different kinds of striking right mm-hmm. so let's say you're training kai for for uh mma fight uh, mm-hmm. and you're training boxing are you guys going to do boxing with boxing gloves or are you guys using mma gloves or i think obviously those are different gloves but like muay thai i think has probably different gloves as well right sure i mean um of course it'll be different when okay. we do mma you so box with MMA gloves then? We or? practice, we'll, we'll start off with the big gloves to get warmed okay. up. Okay. Um, just like some people shadow box with, with weights to warm okay. up first, okay. right? Okay. So we'll do that with the big gloves. We'll practice the technique. And then after two or three rounds into it, you know, to cool off, then we'll go small gloves to make it applicable. Okay, sure. And then instead of hitting the pads with the same combinations, he'll actually punch me a moving target. Okay. To, okay. to make it realistic. Okay. okay. Um, just so everyone could understand, it's like, uh, let's say if everyone plays basketball, right? It's sure. one thing to dribble the ball by yourself and practice all this through your leg shit yeah, yeah, and crossing yeah. over nobody, right? Sure, any sport. Then, yeah. then it's it's easy to drive down the lane. It's also easy to stand there and make free throws when no one's guarding you, right? Yeah. But if that would be like what we do in pad work, right? Okay. But then when you get a sparring partner, that's kind of like when you're scrimmaging, you're playing one-on-one against the yeah. teammate. It has yeah. to be applicable. Sure. Right? So then we'll work stuff on the pads with the gloves, and then we'll put on the little gloves to make sure, hey, can this work in a fight okay. against a live opponent? Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, while, sure, While sure. this live opponent, I'm pretending to emulate his, okay. his, his opponent. So. Sure. Yeah. I, I mean, like, I, I coach soccer as well, and I have also, you know, you teach when you're teaching the kids and you're coaching and stuff, mm-hmm. you teach them step overs and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But almost no one uses that in a game you of know course, what i mean it's course. like because you have to have the right timing the base, you have to have, yeah, you space, have to have your foundation timing right. and space yeah and it's like that would be perfect for a little step over but all this trick shot really, looks cool yeah, right yeah, all this bouncing good, yeah. the ball yeah, on the yeah, foot yeah. and for the sure. for the gram yeah it's cool are exactly, you gonna do yeah. that in a, in, in a game in a game you, it's it's no, right? i mean if you if you can you're like ronaldo exactly right exactly which is like the top the top of the top right but it's pretty tough to when someone's on you to do your little step overs and stuff, it's, it's definitely tough. It's uh-huh. doable, but it's it's it has to be timed perfect. So Absolutely. it's got to be similar, right? Mm-hmm. Timing's got to be perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time and place for everything. Timing, yeah. love it, love it. So, what are some of the fights that you have watched that you thought, okay, wow, like the striking in this this fight is just next level, like top of the, you know, like. The best I've seen. Yeah. Have you, um, can you? Do you have any on the top of your head that you? Found? I mean, there are so and many. vice versa, and vice versa as well. Like, yeah, there off. there are so many that I watch where I'm I'm thoroughly impressed every damn day by the people I watch. Okay. Okay. Um, most recently, one of my favorite uh, Muay Thai guys, uh, Nang O, fought Samapech Fairtex for okay. the one. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah the yeah. one title. Yeah, yeah, and that's putting two guys that are that both great, stadium, that's great, yeah, stadium champions, which yeah. is like the NFL yeah. Super Bowl level. They're okay. they're the cream of the crop, best strikers okay. bar none in the world. Okay, um, having them put on little four ounce gloves. Okay, and and seeing how they duel it out. You yeah, and in, in that fight, you see, you see, skill, determination, grittiness, um, all the above in one fight. Okay. And it was it was technical. The guys were strong. Um, it just makes you think, like, damn, this is where the 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 top top level is. Okay. You know. Nice. Yeah. Okay. What about any any that you've thought like, damn, like not good, like the other end of the spectrum? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This morning, yeah. because I'm still a little jet lagged, right? I just got okay. here two days ago. Okay. Um, I was watching YouTube and then. I forgot what kind of organization it was. You know, like where YouTube, you just you start just scrolling through yeah, random sure. shit, and it takes you like videos, this, this yeah. dark, the dark hole of YouTube. Sure, exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. I forgot what it was called. They had they had like um, 
bodybuilder versus oh um, i think i've jock. seen that video yeah, yeah or you know and they just it's and like this like, organization just is random people with no damn training at all sure sure and i was watching them and it was just absolutely one-sided like of course yeah and it was, okay. or, or two people that just absolutely got clobbered and i was just like uh i'm i'm thankful that you know we're watching yeah of course yeah we're watching professional athletes sure of but course. it's crazy how many millions of views You'll see like the average Joes because people that are like, oh, well, I'm, I'm never going to get to that level where I can watch. Uh, pro- Those are pro athletes. They're supposed to be good. Yeah. They're thinking, oh, what if I fought an average guy on the street? You know, yeah. and then they watch those. Guys, sure, right? sure. Yeah, so, well, those get those get tons of views. Yeah. Man. Those are crazy. It's interesting. BJ Penn and stuff. <laughs> no, yeah. Just, yeah. Those are crazy, <laughs> right? All right, let's get on the next one. We haven't got it. We haven't got It's not too spicy yet, right? Nothing. The iced uh, tea's hella good. We got a... Uh, this is made with fresh jalapenos, this one right here. Nope. So occasionally we can get fresh jalapenos in Taiwan. and uh, you go on? We, we have to use so many. We tried in the beginning, but we just, to make a batch, we just need yeah. so many. You got it, got it, got it. And then when we get nice big ones from, uh, we have a couple farms we deal with. And one's in uh, Miaoli, one's in Kaohsiung, mm-hmm. one's in Pingdong. So when we can get, when they have a, a batch, one's in Dantre as well. Oh, okay. When okay. they have a batch, they're just, they call us up and they're like, how much do you want? And we're like, we're taking everything, man. So we make jalapeno poppers, we make whatever out of the fresh ones. So it's pretty cool, man. No, don't. So this is one of the sauces that we make out of them, man. So yeah, let's do it. Get on there, brother. All right. Kapow. There we go. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. How did my boy uh, Bam do with all these wings? He did all right, man. Bam did well. <laughs> I love, first of all, I love Bam. I, I actually yeah, he, he's a funny cat, huh? Man, you gotta see the episode what, what with up, Bam. Bam. Like, look watching, it up. Bro. Bam's a great dude. Yeah. Every time he comes out, he comes to visit. No, bro. Him and his wife is good peeps. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. His wife comes out a lot. We actually, uh, his wife sets up like big groups, and we show his we show his fights and stuff. Yo. So it's yeah. pretty awesome, man. We love you know Bam. We love Maria. On, yeah, she's fighting she's in January, right? I, I want to see if I can catch catch all the fights, man. Yeah. Catch all the fights, yeah. Because, if, hey, thanks, man. Um, see if we can catch all those fights. Uh, the last time I went out, <laughs> we went out to watch him. I brought my daughter, and my daughter's been, you know, basically glued to me since she was a you know a kid. Mm-hmm. So she's she's seen UFC and all that since she was like two, you know, or one. And uh, so like we it? went. And so yeah, she likes it. Yeah, nope. she wants to go try. Yeah, yeah so. Nope. So we went out to watch uh, some some local fights and uh, last time mm-hmm. WOTD, <clears throat> and she's like she loved it, but she's like she was expecting Bruce Buffer, she was expecting like the lights, she was expect she's like what's going on? Let me know. yeah, where's the flat? I'm like no 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 this that's that's not this one that's a different one, mm-hmm. and she's like what what's going on? She she was kind of like it was funny, but then they were sponsored by Subway and one of my buddies was fighting him. He's like, hey, you guys need a subway. And my daughter's like, oh, this is great. She yeah. has her little subway. She loved it. So, yeah. so she, she's so, she's a funny kid, man. She's she's she likes food. That kid, man, like she, good food. She's does a, she get more like? Does she like watching girls fight more or guys fight more? Or it doesn't really matter. She's or? uh she's okay with 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 both. I mean, she likes watching. She loved Maria's fight. Maria Maria was you saw uh, the body Maria, shot. Yeah, Maria. Actually, debut. I cornered her for. Her. Were you? Did you? Oh, yeah. No. Well, okay, she wanted okay. the body shot. Yeah, that that was yeah. uh that was like the uh. Yeah, that body shot, man. That was a. We were watching that. We loved that. My daughter she fought was like the tall girl. That really man. tall girl. I saw that girl. I was like, oh, she looks like Joanna. I was like, oh yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was like, yeah. damn, that's not good. And you know, there's a big fight her, with man. Joanna coming up, right? Yeah, of course. Joanna yeah. and Zhang Weili. Uh, yeah, Zhang Weili. What do you think of her, man? I, I'm, 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 I'm a fan. I'm she's a fan. Yeah, huge she's fan. A beast, man. Oh huge my god. Fan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I hope she can come out to Taiwan, man. I'd love to, I'd love to, to meet her. She's amazing. I would yeah. love to train with her someday. Yeah, she's, she's so, she's so tough. If you ever see so any of her videos she's i mean on the videos it looks like she's just a beast she just hits so hard it's crazy absolutely can't she, believe she knocked out on draj man that was crazy yeah. and then you see her crazy. other videos like the behind the scenes and she's such a good person yeah as well, she seems super martial nice artist, yeah. you know yeah she like on her like instagram she replies to people and yeah stuff. Like, wow that's pretty crazy yeah uh-huh. pretty crazy bro yeah she's dope i think i think she needs to get a little bit more recognition i think for she, sure she, i think she, she, she i think she climbed up so fast everyone's like whoa yeah, and then they put uh, Dana put her to fight uh, 
the champ, you, uh, what's her, what was her name? Jo, yeah, Andrade. Andrade, yeah. And uh, everyone's like, no, I mean, that's too, it's too quick. And mm-hmm. then she smashed Andrade, and everyone's just kind of like, whoa. But then if, uh, but then again, if she yeah. beats Joanna Dreyjerczyk, right? Oh yeah, yeah, for and sure. And then if she fights afterwards, maybe like Paige Namajunas. Yeah, then they're gonna be like, who else is? Yeah, for sure. That division, for sure. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? So for sure, we'll, we'll see how it goes. That's my daughter calling. Uh, <laughs> She's like, Dad, when are you coming home to pick me up? That's beautiful, man. Love that. Um, so when you watch fights, pro fights or amateur fights, are you able to just sit back, watch as a fan, or are you, or are you like, oh, shit. Um, like, oh shit. you know what? I to be honest that. with yeah. you, okay. how do you? Um, yeah. The reason I love our sport. Number one, I'm a fan first. Okay. I, I, I lo- I'm absolutely grateful that I'm able to do this as a career. I'm okay. super blessed, and I spent a lot of time like trying okay. to do this. Um, so I try not to get emotional into it, and I just try to study it. Okay. But let's say last time like when Jose Aldo fought Marlon Moraes. Oh, right? yeah, um, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm not gonna lie, my heart was kind of pounding. That, yeah, because I, 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 I mean that fight here, man. We loved. Oh, that was such yeah, a yeah. I, I, I love Aldo. You know, I grew up watching him. Uh, I watched him live, in the W yeah. W E C. Yeah, and for sure. I remember, like, I, I used to not be able to kick anyone's legs to save my yeah. life. You know, and I used to watch him be like, "Oh, that's dope." Um, I I, but, love, I got to see him live, man. That was. Beautiful. But what I do do is, when I'm watching as as a coach, right? Yeah. Um, I will put the. The film on mute. Okay. So I don't so hear don't anything get... biased. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't, I don't okay. hear anything biased. Okay. And so then... when you watch it, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I like mm-hmm. that. Okay. Yeah, that's a great yeah. answer. Yeah, so you're fan number one, but when you're watching to dissect, you turn off the volume and you're trying to dissect what's yeah, up. Yeah, I, I just try to be as fair as possible. How can I implement that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. What do you think of the judging in... in UFC, mm, I, that whole system, the 10-8. Like. I think the judging in any of these combat sports, in boxing and, yeah. and Muay Thai and, and yeah. mixed martial arts, I really think that the people, have, they should have experience. They should be former fighters, former yeah. coaches. Um, I agree. I agree. People that, that have done the sport before. I was chatting with, with, with Camp about that as well, and I was asking the same question about referees, and he also said that they definitely need to have some experience, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. As, as, as big fighters, time. yeah, or else big time because they have yeah. to. You have, you have to be fair, and For then sure. you have to know what it's like to be in their shoes, right? Yeah. You can't just hey, like I mean, realistic forward pressure. I understand you're you're going forward, but if yeah. you're not in like, and it also depends on the sport, right? Sure. What, what's kind sure. of crazy is like I don't necessarily blame the judges all the times. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also different sanctioning bodies, right? There's yeah, like for sure. CSAC, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different rules than when you go to New York State yeah. Athletic Commission. And what they need to do to is... New York has some shady judging sometimes. It's they should like, just ah, have a yeah. one all across the board, like all across the world. Yeah. And then if, yeah, you, wanna, if you wanna be a referee, you have to complete this course certification. Yeah. I you know th- what I mean? It's, I agree. it's, it's yeah. hard um, for me sometimes as a coach, like of we'll course. fight in California yeah. and you're only allowed to do this. And then we'll go fight in Arizona, and now I have to change it up because we have to score with their scoring system as opposed to if we go somewhere else. So They have like a – or they're trying to implement it's like a unified thing, they're right? They're trying I mean, they're to. They're trying. trying it's, not, to. it's not working out. So um, It's not that it's not That's, working yeah, out. Okay. It's just money's the root of all evil. So then when some person okay. goes in there and like, oh, I want to start my own thing, and they'll be like, oh, I want to do it to grow the sport. Okay. But is it really to grow the sport or is it really because they want a piece of the pie? Yeah. Right. So yeah, then, that's, that's yeah. just the confliction with the, the money two, makes so. things complicated. Absolutely. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. That's pretty. Well, let's jump on the next one, man. Yeah, so sure. These two are a little spicier. It'll step up from the other ones. Uh, but uh, I mean, I, I saw Kai crying, and yeah. uh, <laughs> I've never seen that even in his fight. Never seen so. him cry. Huh? Well, we made yeah. him cry at Eddie's Cantina right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this one is uh, similar. Uh, okay. This one's made with the Thai chili peppers, the bird's eye. So yeah, we were mentioning let's do it. those earlier. So that's give that. me some sticky rice and a little. There we'll you do go. It. Yeah. So let's jump on there, man. Let's do it. Well, okay. Hola. Hola. Like yeah. I love that. Hola. Yes. All right. So. There we go.
So this one question I always ask. Uh huh. For an untrained person mm -hmm. who's put in a situation where they have to where they have to fight, they have to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. What's your advice? I mean, somebody that's like no idea. They can't. They're not fighters. They can't fight. They know they don't. You know, have anything to do with it. But sometimes you're put in a position where you have to defend yourself, right? What's yeah. your advice for that? Kick them in the nuts. Kick them in the nuts. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Okay, kick them in the nuts, and then just run. Kick them in the nuts. Run and make as much noise as you can. Okay. That's what I'd say. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the question. You got to pause ask. the scene, right? Sure. Exor yeah. You got to pause the scene. You need the help. Okay. So kick them in the balls. That would okay. disable me really quickly. I mean, professional athletes, professional fighters, right? Yeah. We still got to wear cups. Right? For sure. Well, yeah. I mean, you, you see the low blows in the fights and they stop it for Because we're conditioned minutes, right? to get hurt by physical yeah. pain, punching yeah. and kicking. Yeah. But, you know... I don't sit there and I don't have a, a work that I could do to strengthen my balls. Yeah, right? sure, so, exactly. Okay. Is there any way we could get one more? Uh, Hell yeah, one? we can, yeah. Dope. Morgan. Morgan. Morgan, I'm can suffering. Um, can we okay. have some wet can naps? Have, uh, wet nap, please. Wet naps. A wet nap, please. Yeah, thanks. Um, okay. Orange face yet? You got it? You got it, Morgan? <laughs> Actually, yeah, that was, how was that? It was a little spicier, a little bit mellow. It was good. I okay, like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but you, you dip, you say you usually dip those fresh ones in some. Yeah, bro. Are you saying you dip? That's, that's nice, man. I like that. That one's the one that usually gets people going. Uh, yesterday I had a customer come in and he wanted something spicy. Yeah. But not ghost spicy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, Morgan. Yeah, bro. All right. Thanks, bro. And uh, I gave him a, a six or eight of those and, and uh, it was good to go. He was uh, like, Ooh. Yeah. He had three and he took, nice. he took half home. Yeah, shout out to my man Philip. Is there any way I could get more uh, the lemon tea? It's hella good. Sure, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course, yeah. Morgan, can I have one more iced tea? Yeah, no sugar with lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. Yeah, thanks. But I am breaking a sweat though. Are you? Okay, yeah, okay, good, 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 good. Well, we got to get you somehow, right? Mm -hmm. That one actually got camp as well. Is that right? Yeah, camp. That one got camp as well, and. Uh, Oh, Bam was sweating the whole time, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Right, man? Yeah. Got to get Bam back here, Bam, man. Bam, you're love supposed to be good with the chicken wings, bro. Uh, we love Bam. We love Bam. He's coming out, I think, right? He's he going to come I, out I to watch the fight? Pretty, yeah, pretty soon. He's going to corner, maybe? He's going to yeah, corner. Yeah, I, I hope think. so. I hope so. That'd be great. Yeah. He's a great guy, man. <coughs> Bam, remember the side bet with Kai? <laughs> Uh-oh. In, inside joke here, yeah? Inside joke. So, if, I were, if I were to say a Mount Rushmore yeah. of... Let's let's say MMA, right? Who would you choose for your Mount Rushmore of like your main guys for MMA? Any era, right? Yeah, sure, of course, yeah. yeah. Mm. Fedor. Oh. Yeah, Fedor. Okay, just retired off a of win, which was cool. Yeah, Prime nice Fedor. Prime Fedor, sure. Jose Aldo. Okay. Big Aldo fan, eh? All right. Okay. GSP, Anderson Silva. Okay. Very nice. Very. That's good. I like that. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about Mighty Mouse right now? Very mighty. Very mighty. He's pretty amazing. I love man. Mighty Mouse. I love dude. Mighty Mouse. Yeah. I, yeah. I think, you know. It's, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, he's so skilled. It's just people don't enjoy watching little people fight for some reason. Right? I, th I, th I think what happened with him was he... He was so good. Mm -hmm. Like he, I think he was just so far ahead that it was kind of like uh, I enjoyed watching him fight. I really enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. And I think I think he him going over to one mm -hmm. is good. I think because Matt Hume is one of the main guys at one, right? Mm -hmm. And I think I think that's his main coach, and I think that's that's good for him. He traded for Ben Askren, which was a uh, I think it was good for both sides. Yeah, what do you think, Ben Askren? Yeah, he, I think he retired a little too early to be honest. I think he could have done he could have done well, but uh, did you see the? Uh, to each their own. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah to each their own. But uh, right. what do you think about uh, his last fight with with Damian Maya? Speaking of the lower end of the striking scale, I, I, th I, would I think say. it's it's hard to go out like that, man. Yeah. I mean, he was he was such a great athlete for so long. Sure. I, I actually don't think he's gonna retire fully. You don't think so? No. I think he'll come back. You can't go out like back? that, man. Yeah. I, I, Cause I mean, actually, I'm actually not not a fan, like not a big fan. I was, 
He did beat Robbie. I think mm-hmm. Robbie was out for sure. Yeah. Uh, I was. I love. I love Masvidal. So it was all Team Masvidal for sure. Yeah, for sure. And he, he obviously Masvidal crushed him with that. Uh, with that. With that sort of the knee. Mm-hmm. But uh, I still think you know. I don't want to see anyone go out like that. No, to be for sure. Honest. Because I mean, he's a pro athlete. If you actually watch him, he's a he's a good. He seems like a good guy. Seems like yeah. a nice guy. So I actually, I like, mean, you got to sell the fight no matter what. Yeah, that, nowadays, for sure. You know, like yeah. if you want people to watch, you got to talk a little bit of shit. Yeah, so. like like I, like I I've, I've been watching so long that there are so few guys that I don't really like mm-hmm. in this sport. You know, there's very few, and and it's I can't even really think of any right now. But most of them, I'm like, ah, oh, he seems like a good guy. I hope he does. Like when uh, Diaz Masvidal, I'm like, ah, oh, big fan of both. Yeah. Uh, Showtime Pettis Diaz. I was like, oh man, I'm a big yeah, fan of both. Sure. You know, you're like, ah. But uh, yeah, I mean, again, I wasn't a big fan of Askren, but I didn't, I didn't want to see him go out like that. I was kind of like, I did want Maya to tap him. I did want that to happen, but I didn't want him to stop. I wanted him to keep going, but yeah. it's not up to me, right? It's so, no, for sure. So he said I mean, he hurt his back. He's got, he needs some back surgery or something. He's yeah. pretty funny. He's pretty funny. He guy, is pretty think, funny. Yeah. Um, it's pretty funny. Yeah. We'll see how stubborn he is. I mean, like one of my favorites of all time, Dominic Cruz. Right. Yeah. Look sure. at all the injuries he has. Right. Love Dominic Cruz. And yeah. I still think he's gonna make one one last comeback. Yeah. What know, about so. uh, Dan Hardy? You think he'll fight again? He keeps saying he might. He might come back and do one more. That's kind of crazy. Maybe. Yeah? You think so? Yeah. I think you know what. Um, I think he's he's got a great brain as a coach. Oh, he's amazing. Because he does I the breakdowns, it. his right? His breakdowns and, are the best. Inside same the as Dominic Cruz. Yeah. You ever watch one of, of course, their breakdowns? Yeah. He's yeah, yeah, so yeah. insightful. I um, love Dom Cruz, man. For sure. For sure. Like, I don't know if he's going to come back and fight. I think he'd make a great coach someday. Okay. Some guys, um, yeah. like myself, I wouldn't say I was the greatest fighter ever. Okay. And I think I'm a way better coach than I am a fighter. Um, I, I but, agree. but I've been willing to accept that. And okay. then, so whenever you're, you're willing to, or you know your role yeah. and something, you find your niche, then, okay. you know, wh- whatever he decides to do. Amazing. You know, so. All right. Very cool, man. When you watch the fights, do you get so into them and you're just kind of like yelling direction? You're like, you're like, hit him with a left, hit him with an, or are you just like, I'm just no. going to sit here and be like mellow and be like. I'm the opposite, man. Yeah. I, um. You just chill. I, I shit you not. Um, okay. Before a fight, I'll sit there and play my emoji game. And I'll just match puzzles up. And I see everyone, like, tense and the coaches are okay. sweating in the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. And, okay. you know, I've, I don't want to say been there or done that. But okay. Okay. I'm, I'm always pretty relaxed. Wow. It's just like... Um, That's pretty great. What, what's going to happen is going to happen, dude. And okay. I don't, I don't want to waste my energy where I don't have to. Okay. I'm usually the... Um, you ever watch... You, you watch football at all? American football? Not American really, football. Not really, There's no. this guy, because um, I used to play American football, right? Okay. There's this guy named Bill Belichick. He's the, I've heard the, the name. I don't know who he the is. The coach so, of yeah. the New England Patriots. Okay. He's Tom Brady's coach. Okay. Okay. I know um, him. I mean. So I watch the way he coaches, and he's very calm, okay. collected. He's always thinking steps ahead. And, okay. Um, and he switches up the way he coaches emotionally based on his athletes. Okay. And the way they're feeling. If they're up, if they're down, or this and that. And that's kind of like the direction I've learned how to take over time. Okay. An athlete like Kai, I know Kai well enough from a personal standpoint. Yeah. Uh, if I need to tell him to go, then then I'll switch over and tell him to okay. go. Okay. But for the most part, if he's in control, I have no reason to yell out. Okay. Because, I mean, the, the truth is, in the octagon, there's two people. Sure. If Kai can hear me, the other guy can hear me too. If I say, yeah. one, two, no yeah, shit, yeah, one, then he's yeah. going to be expecting a one, two. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Take him down. And he's he, tired. And some and coaches he might do like be, the code name, the code might, words or whatever, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, he might be thinking, bitch, I'm not tired. Don't say that. You know what I mean? Like, give him more and more yeah, fuel. Yeah, give him some motivation. Um, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, All it's right. just per- personally, no, I'm, I'm, I'm very laid back. Okay. I usually, I just keep a timer on my phone. I'm like, oh, there's 3.30. 3.30 left, you're behind, or this and that. But I'll, I'll give them direction in between okay. and just pull it back together. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. All right, brother, let's grab that last one. What do you think? It's good. Let's go. Well, get on there, man. You, you're you getting through no problem. No problem. All right, I'll grab that. Well, salute, last man. One, you man. made it to the Thank last you so one. Much. You made it, no problem. Damn. The beast. The fiance has been training me. Oh. I told her I wouldn't let her down. What's your fir- pa- favorite wing, personally? Um, I 
that green jalapeno one. Mm. That's my favorite one. That reminds me of home. That one reminds me of uh, so many things from, from way back. But uh, yeah, I think that's probably my favorite. Yeah. What about dipping sauce? You do dipping sauce at all? We do. Yeah, we do like a, we do like <laughs> a ranch. We do like a ranch. Yeah. Yeah. You like ranch or um, what's it called? Blue. Blue, Blue cheese, cheese doesn't go well here, man. Is that right? Yeah, it doesn't. Taiwanese well. people don't like it. Not really, not really. Yeah. Um, yeah, blue cheese. Blue cheese does not does not go over that well, to be honest, man. But uh, ranch goes okay. You made it, man! Damn. All right, this guy's a beast. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna fire out some fights for for the next year. Dope. Let me know who you got. Yeah. Obviously, the, the biggest one. Everyone. Oh, looking. so I just, I just select the winner. Who yeah, yeah. What yeah. Do you, who and why? Yeah. Dope. How? Sure. Tony and Khabib. That's everyone's biggest. Yeah. I think right. Yep. Khabib. 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 Yep. Okay. Bye. Huh? How? How? Same old, same <clears throat> old. No, I think Ferguson gives him trouble. Um, but I think Khabib he'll he'll find a way to. To keep him grounded and just okay. maul him out. Okay. Yeah. I think it'll be think, by decision. Okay. You don't think Tony's going to do any damage from the bottom? Because obviously Khabib's going to get him down for sure. I do. I, I, I'd say that one's a 60 40. I go for Khabib. Okay. Beauty. Because <coughs> he's the eagle. He's the eagle, man. <laughs> Connor Cowboy. That's coming up in like yeah. two weeks, Connor. I think. Yeah. Connor? Connor. I, I think his boxing's too good for Cowboy. Yeah. I'm very happy for Cowboy though. Yeah. I think it's gonna about money, damn right? time that he he gets, gets some money. money for his career, and I exactly. hope he does great things with it afterwards. Yeah, for sure. I love. I do. I do like Cowboy as well. What about John Jones and Dominic Reyes? You think Dominic Reyes has a chance? He does. I yeah. mean, like that's. The I mean, obviously sport. everyone has a chance. But. We're swinging little four ounce gloves, dude. Yeah. Okay. Anyone could get could get clipped and okay. could get hurt really bad. But okay. I think John Jones is better than him everywhere. I think Reyes' size maybe it gives him a little bit of a problem, they're, they're but about I mean, the same size, right? Pretty close, right? Yeah, yeah. but Jones is usually the bigger dude. Jones is, so. yeah, Jones yeah. is the man. Yeah. What about Masvidal and Usman? Masvidal and Usman. Um, my heart says Masvidal. Yeah. My my brain says Usman. Yeah, I think I'm sim. I think I got the same as well. I like I, li- I like the little the, the little hood kid. The, with the good story, I think it's about time feels, he gets his props. But the Kimbo Slice days, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The BMF. What do you think of the BMF belt? Um, what do you think of that whole thing, that whole situation? I thought it was interesting. So interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do we got? All right. I, I, this is a fight that's not obviously set up, but people are talking about it. That was kind of hot. <laughs> of Adesanya moving up and fighting John, John Jones. Jones. John what Jones. do you think of that? Easily, or what do no. you think? Not easily. I think, I think Adesanya gives him problems a little bit because he's gone up to heavyweight, right? Apparently, back in the day, Adesanya used to go up, right? Yeah, but yeah. the guys also in China don't cut as much weight. Okay. Um. But John Jones. I think John Jones is. I think Adesanya's still got a. He's got to beat a few more guys. Um, okay. Sure. 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 I sure. mean, let's he let knows him, that too. Let's let him fight. Yo Romero first. He, I think, I think they're trying to make that fight, right? I think, I think it's booked. Is it made? Yeah, I what think you, so. What do you I, think of that one? I want to see how he does with Yo Romero's top pressure. Because it's because everyone knows John Jones being a bigger, heavier guy. Yeah, and is good from the top with yeah. those elbows and sure. this and that. If sure, he can sure, survive sure. Yoel, then it gives us a better implication of how he'd do against John Jones. Yeah. yeah. What about if uh, Mighty Molly fought uh, Henry Cejudo one more time? They're mm. one and one, right? I, I still think Mighty Mouse won. Did you, the second one, you think he won? Did you? Think um, that was a close one. That was close, right? Yeah. It's hard. I've only, I only saw it the first time live, but uh, mm-hmm. I I was also wanting someone to finally beat Mighty Mouse. Right? You got some sweat going on, eh? All right, all right, all right. There we go. We got Give me you some a little tears, bit. dude. We got you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. What's the fight you're looking most forward to this in the next little while? Aside from uh, okay, you got okay. me. I was gonna you say pick, you can pick. You can, you can say whatever I was gonna you want. say um, I'm I'm looking forward to Kai's fight. I got a few guys in camp that um, okay. My boy Chris is fighting for the um, Northern California 170 pound Muay Thai title. Nice. Um, okay. So I mean, per, obviously my own students, but your own guys. Yeah. Okay. Um, MMA fight. Do you guys all get together and watch UFC? Tell ya. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we have nice. to. I mean, we're fans first, right? Yeah, yeah. That's how yeah. it should be. Okay. Um, the fight that I'm looking most forward to would be... 
What's a big one? Uh, I honestly want to see Stylebender uh-huh. versus the um, who's the big young stud looking Brazilian Paulo dude. Costa. Paulo Costa versus the Eraser. The Eraser I want right? to see that one. You want to see that one? Yeah. From a striking standpoint, okay. I, I love it. Um, what, do you, what do you think happens in that? Still, Stylebender picks him apart, or you think? Fuck, it's hard to say that one because Costa did pretty good against. I want to uh, say Romero, I have but... it. I want to have it. I actually go. 51-49 for Pablo Costa. Oh, wow. Well, okay. So I just you, think he's that durable. Man, if you were a betting man, you'd go Pablo Costa. Pablo, I think he yeah. might. Is he still undefeated? He might be, right? Mm-hmm. They both are. I right? thought you'll all beat him. But, you know. Yeah. I, I that Again, I watched that one and I was like, yeah, that's a tough one, mm-hmm. too. Tough one to call, for sure. Mm-hmm. Very tough. Dude, you finished the wing challenge, man. I did. And I, I got mocos coming out of my nose now. You got the mojitos and... going in there, right? So, <laughs> nice one, man. Hey, I... I want to thank you for coming out. I appreciate you taking the time. I know you guys are busy. Absolutely. Uh, do you want to have, yeah, anything you want to say to, to, to people before uh, uh, before we head out? I just personally want to thank you for right. letting me be on the show. Uh, Brother, big shout out to my guy Kai, who fights the main event of yeah. Way of the Dragon on the twelfth. Yeah. Uh, big shout out to Royal for letting us use his gym. Um, Love Royal Dynasty Taipei. Yeah. Also, a big shout out to Kemp. Kemp, uh, the number one referee, probably oh, we in all love, of Taiwan. We love Kemp, man. We love best hair in MMA, man. Best hair. Best yeah. Hair I mean, MMA. if there was he's a real going life, for, he's v- going Vegeta. for it. He's going I, for it. Yeah. There you go. I can't. Yeah. I'm going for the Asian George Clooney. But okay. There you go. Not all right, quite all there. Right. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. So you guys, if you guys need to get some tickets, we have them for sale here. We have them half price here. We still have a few left. Come down and get them. Come and watch these guys fight. Support the local scene. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for coming out, my man. Absolutely. Appreciate yes. it. Thank you so much. Thanks for the shirt. I just got a shirt from Kai. Appreciate that. I'll be wearing that. Maybe, fight, maybe that night I'll wear it. Appreciate it, guys. Take it easy. Peace, guys. Have a good one.